Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm going to show you another cool program called the File Pumper. Now, what File Pumper basically is, it um, increases the file size. So, suppose you have a 1KB file, and with this, with this program, you can easily transform that file to 200MB file, which is pretty impressive, isn't it? So, we'll go ahead and create a new project. And I'm going to be calling this one file pumper since it is going to be a file pumper. Now from the toolbox we're going to be adding two buttons. One for the, for the browse, um, browsing the file. And the second one for the pumping. And I'm going to add a text box to store the file name. And two radio buttons for choosing the kilobyte or the megabyte and a numeric up down for to choose the file size for the new file so i'm going to quickly place them in the right order now the button 2 which will be our browse button we're going to call this one btn browse and we'll change the text to three dots which is a common text for a browse button now the button one will be the pump button so we're going to be calling this btn pump and the text will be pump now the radio button one will be the kilobyte and it will be called RBTN kilobyte and the radio button 2 will be megabyte and it will be called RBTN megabyte. Now the numeric up down will be called numeric up down 1 and we'll change the minimum to 10 and we'll leave the maximum to 100 for this tutorial. Once again I'm going to resize the form a bit. and we can start with the oh we need to change the text box one to txt file name which will store the file name of the browsed file now let's go ahead and write the code for the browse button in this browse button we'll have OFD which will be the open file dialog we'll set the filter to exe files only and we can show the dialog box now we'll store the f um, file name in the txt file name dot text and once we're done with that we're gonna go back to our form one design and we're gonna write the code for the form load now in the form load we wanna make sure the uh, megabyte is checked you can change it to kilobyte if you want um, and now in the pump button we're gonna be declaring a save file dialog since we're going to be creating a new file and we'll just set the filter to exe file once again and we will show the dialog box now we declare a file size variable which will store the numeric up down one dot value and then we can copy the browsed file to the save file dialog dot file name. Now we check if the kilobyte was checked. If yes, then we'll change the file size and we'll multiply it by 1024. Now we do the same thing with the megabyte, but this time we multiply by 1048576. And how did I get that number is by multiplying 1024 into 1024 then we declare a file stream which will be file to pump and it has the open write access for which which gives us access to writing to that file and then we declare a size which will be from starting from the beginning of the file to the end which basically size basically gets the file size of the original file and the file size and then we create a while loop which will make sure 
if the size is less than the file size it will write the byte and it will increase by one each time it um, the size is less than the file size now this is the important part you need to close the file to pump that we opened earlier for writing otherwise the, your program will not work and then we just show a message box saying successfully pumped now let's check everything that we got everything once you got everything go one, go back to your form one design and this is the file that we're going to be um, changing the file size of so it's a Skype setup and it it is 0.98 MB so we'll go ahead and start the program we're going to click the browse button and we're going to choose the file now for this tutorial I'm going to be changing it to 100 MB you can set yours to anything you want then we're going to save it to desktop as Skype setup underscore pumped as the new file name and click on save once you're done now in a few seconds we'll show you the uh, message box saying successfully pumped now let's go back to the desktop and here's a new file now it will take few seconds to show the icon since it is still processing there it is um, let's right click on it see check the file size of this new file it's 100 MB so we'll go ahead and um, run the files to see if it, if it is still working and we check the second one as well yep the both works so thanks guys for watching this video I hope it's been a great help to you please like this video it really helps a lot um, and go ahead and like my page on Facebook which I made just for you guys thank you bye